for a comeback. I got comeback power. It's no time to be casual. It's time to be on fire. It's time to increase your energy and your drive and your passion to win. See, at some point in time, all of us have seen our destiny. I was six years old, man by the name of Reverend Ed Graham, a Mount Zion Baptist Church in Miami. I was six years old right before Christmas. My mother was ill. We had no food in the house. And this tall, strapping man around 6'1 came to the door with a food basket in his hand. And he says, hello, is this the Brown family? My mother said, yes. I understand that you have two sons and a daughter. And that you have no food. Yes, I'm from Mount Zion Baptist Church. And around Christmas time, we pass out food baskets to needy family. Take the basket in behalf of the church and have a nice Christmas. And when he walked out, I said, oh, boy, I'd like to be like that man. And I went to his church and I used to watch him speak and tall and powerful and dynamic speaker. Such eloquence. Uh, one of his favorite people was the poet Kipling who wrote, if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. A friend of mine, Mildred Singleton, well, she was on a school outing and, and they took her to a hospital and she was in the operating room watching from a distance and she saw someone working or doing eye surgery. She says, that's what I want to do. She's just a teenager and today she's an ophthalmologist. All of us have seen our destiny at some point in time and we decided not to listen. We decided to ignore it and say, no, that's, that's not for me. Life came in and slapped us side the head and we stopped dreaming anymore. The impulse to dream has been slowly beaten out of me through the experience of life. And that's what causes many of us to give up on our volcano. The experiences and the challenges, the defeats, the disappointments and the failures of life. And we decide to sell out on our true potential, sell out on living our dreams feeling that we're not good enough, not wanting to make any mistakes, particularly if you're raised with a great deal of criticism. So you've got to be willing. Life is like a coin. You can spend it any way you wish, but you only spend it once. There are only two paths you can go by, but in the long run, there's still time to change the road you're on. The purpose of our lives is to be happy, Dalai Lama. The more thankful you are, the more you attract things to be thankful for. Hold to your true aspirations, no matter what is going on around you. If you get clear on the what, the how will be taken care of. Jack Canfield Against those who eagerly seek preferment at Rome, if we applied ourselves as busily to our own work as the old men at Rome do to those matters about which they are employed, perhaps we also might accomplish something. I am acquainted with a man older than myself who is now superintendent of corn at Rome and remember the time when he came here on his way back from exile and what he said as he related the events of his former life and how he declared that with respect to the future after his return he would look after nothing else than passing the rest of his life in quiet and tranquility. For how little of life, he said, remains for me. I replied, you will not do it, but as soon as you smell Rome, you will forget all that you have said, and if admission is allowed even into the imperial palace, you will gladly thrust yourself in and thank God. If you find me, Epictetus, he answered, setting even one foot within the palace, think what you please. Well, what then did he do? Before he entered the city, he was met by letters from Caesar, and as soon as he received them, he forgot all, and ever after has added one piece of business to another. I wish that I were now by his side to remind him of what he said when he was passing this way, and to tell him how much better a seer I am than he is. Well then, do I say that man is an animal made for doing nothing? Certainly not. But why are we not active? For example, as to myself, as soon as day comes, in a few words I remind myself of what I must read over to my pupils. Then forthwith I say to myself, But what is it to me how a certain person shall read? 
the first thing for me is to sleep. And indeed, what resemblance is there between what other persons do and what we do? If you observe what they do, you will understand. And what else do they do all day long than make up accounts, inquire among themselves, give and take advice about some small quantity of grain, a bit of land, and such kind of profits? Is it then the same thing to receive a petition and to read in it? I entreat you to permit me to export a small quantity of corn, and one to this effect. I entreat you to learn from Chrysippus what is the administration of the world, and what place in it the rational animal holds. Consider also who you are, and what is the nature of your good and bad. Are these things like the other? Do they require equal care? And is it equally base to neglect these and those? Well then, are we the only persons who are lazy and love sleep? No, but much rather you young men are. For we old men, when we see young men amusing themselves, are eager to play with them. And if I saw you active and zealous, much more should I be eager myself to join you in your serious pursuits. A hundred percent, dude. It's like this thing in the back of your head, okay, maybe this will break them. Maybe this will break them. So we haven't broken each other yet, but I'm sure the day will come. In my mind, a lot of times, man, I'm like, it doesn't mean I quit. I, I don't quit. You know, I may not make it the first time, but I'll come back. I got to call an audible. I can get my head back in the game. I got I to gotta figure this shit out. It doesn't mean you leave. It means you study it more. It means you study it more. And, and whenever I fail at something, people always say, man, how do you handle failure, man? I fail a lot, dude. I fail all the time. They go, how do you ha handle it? What I'm trying to do and this isn't being arrogant, man. I, I, it's being real. Not many people are trying to do. There's not many people that who, can, who can even open their mouth and criticize me when I do fail. Because I'm, I'm trying to do shit, man, that many people aren't trying to do. But I don't look at failure as failure. I look at failure as your first, second, third, fourth, fifth attempt. I look at them as attempts. I don't look at anything as failure. Because when you're willing to try to do something, not trying is failure. That's that's the, and that's not some after school special, shit. but when you're able to go out there, there, there is no failure. It's attempts because when you're trying to do something that's bigger than you, whatever you are, whoever you are, if 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 you're paralyzed, you're trying to walk one step and you didn't, you didn't fail. Mother that was your first attempt. If that's your biggest thing, that's how your mindset needs to go into everything. So I don't look at it as failure is a big word like, that gets people down. We give so much power to words. I don't. I take the power right away. I didn't feel shit. Hey, come here, brother. Let me talk to you real quick, brother. People don't like that, man. But I'm not going to allow you to go to a place that's going to be hard to get out of. It's going to be hard. If I allow you to gain five more... Realize that mistakes are essential to learning anything. Slow down and realize that. Rule your mind, or it will rule you. He who has renounced all desires and acts only for the welfare of others, without any expectation of reward, is the greatest of all. Bhagavad Gita Effort never goes in vain. Everyone wants to see you succeed, but some will even go out of their way to see you fail. The self is the ultimate truth. Everything else is illusion. Nisargadatta Maharaj A blessed and indestructible being has no trouble himself and brings no trouble upon any other being. So he is free from anger and partiality, for all such things imply weakness. That you want. You can get singing lessons, get a better job, make more money. 